When did the WHO decide there was evidence of human-to-human -human transmission of COVID-19? A January 14 WHO tweet that has been widely rebroadcast months later by the right-wing U.S. press, e.g. NY Post, Wash Exam but not exclusively by them, e.g. Bloomberg opinion piece, Politico O. P. said that, Preliminary investigations conducted by the Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission of the novel hashtag coronavirus 2019 NCOV identified in hashtag Wuhan, hashtag China. The WHO is lampooned for this moment by the aforementioned media pieces, but these don't really say when the WHO came to a different conclusion regarding human-to-human -human transmission. So when did that happen, and what information source did the WHO use for the latter determination? The WHO was clearly wary that human-to-human -human transmission may be a factor at the beginning of January, although their initial disease outbreak news Don of January 5 entitled Pneumonia of Unknown Cause China states that, according to the authorities, some patients were operating dealers or vendors in the Huanan seafood market. Based on the preliminary information from the Chinese investigation team, no evidence of significant human-to-human -human transmission and no health care worker infections have been reported. They also note that all patients are being isolated, and that close contacts of patients are being identified and monitored, which indicates that this avenue was being investigated. Further advice published on 10 January also indicated that, from the currently available information, preliminary investigation, suggests that there is no significant human-to-human -human transmission, and, no infections among healthcare workers have occurred. But again, warned that travelers should take measures such as, Avoiding close contact with people suffering from acute respiratory infections. Frequent hand washing, especially after direct contact with ill people or their environment. Travelers with symptoms of acute respiratory infection should practice cough etiquette, maintain distance, cover coughs and sneezes, with disposable tissues or clothing, and wash hands. According to the WHO COVID-19 Timelines entry for January 14, Dr. Maria Van Kerkhova noted in a press briefing there had been limited human-to-human -human transmission of the coronavirus in the 41 confirmed cases, mainly through family members, and that there was a risk of a possible wider outbreak. Dr. Kirkhova noted that human-to-human -human transmission would not be surprising given our experience with SARS, MERS and other respiratory pathogens. After WHO officials from its China and Western Pacific regional offices conducted a brief field visit to Wuhan from the 20th-21 Stone of Jan, the latter office published a Twitter thread on January 21 stating that as a result of the increasing number of cases of the virus, it is now very clear that there is at least some human-to-human -human transmission of hash and 2019. The thread also states that more information and analysis are needed on this new virus to understand the full extent of human-to-human -human transmission and other important details. Additionally, on 21 January, the dawn for the spread of the disease in the Republic of Korea contained the phrase the extent of human-to-human -human transmission, the first dawn not to question the existence of human-to-human -human transmission, but rather its extent. A more formal announcement was made by the WHO mission to China on the 22nd of January which states that data collected through detailed epidemiological investigation and through the deployment of the new test kit nationally suggests that human to human transmission is taking place in Wuhan. More analysis of the epidemiological data is needed to understand the full extent of human to human transmission. WHO stands ready to provide support to China to conduct further detailed analysis. In conclusion then, while human-to-human -human transmission was suspected to be present from the initial WHO dawn on January 5, this was not confirmed until after data observed in the field in Wuhan by members of the WHO China and Western Pacific Regional Offices was thought to show that human-to-human -human transmission was clearly a factor. These field investigations took place on the 20th-21 stone of January, and announcements acknowledging this conclusion were first made on the 21st.